Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Now, you might notice something a little bit different. So, uh, I actually went and uh, bought something online which will help out immensely. Uh, instead of uh, trying to figure out how to use the uh, controller all this time, I just decided, you know what, it is uh, probably a better thing if I go and get me a controller. Like, uh, I was kind of complaining in the last episode about... So, uh, Kimberly, my fiance, uh, decided that she would buy one online on uh, Amazon. Got here on Wednesday. Uh, I'm actually back uh, from a trip to, to Reno. Just got back. Uh, so, yeah. It is, uh, we're going pretty good. I don't need that. Uh, but we do need food. Since we're kind of doing two things here at once, I don't need those either. I'll keep one just in case. Don't need that. Now, normally I do this off camera. Or off the recording or whatever. Y'all understand what I mean. But, uh, I just figured to bring you along. I'm going to throw this outside. We do have to cook up some more meat, though. Because we're kind of... Kind of in the... In between stages of needing food and, and not needing food. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll probably keep some of that so we can go down to uh, the farmhouse, build that bow right quick, and then uh, pretty much be on the search of uh, more birch bark or uh, birch saplings so that we can make... Oh, hello, it's a little windy out here. How good is this? 83%. Okay, so I'm going to throw out more of that and then we're gonna keep going so also another thing that's uh, a little bit weird for me is that uh, I am you know what I lied let's actually just stay close to home since this storm's going on but anyway but uh, yeah what's what's a little bit weird right now is that uh, I normally have like a little little bitty TV that I, uh, I use for a monitor and uh, right now, uh, <laughs> that TV is in my, my semi. So because of that, uh, I have, I'm using my, uh, my big TV that I, you know, watch actual TV on and uh, YouTube and whatnot. And so it's a little bit different because the small TV is like a 23 inch, you know, nothing, nothing too fancy. And uh, the one I am I'm using now is a 37. So it's a little bit bigger. Definitely way better color. Way better everything. So we'll definitely see. Oh, I don't need those either. But it's a good thing to know that that's there. How are we doing on our clothes? Like, I, it's been so long. 70. Eh. Eh, good enough. That was a little fast for you guys. But uh, just a little tidbit for myself to keep up. It is just, might as well pick that up. It's uh, very hard to, you know, go to work and everything and uh, be away from it for so long and then to come back, like throw yourself back into it basically and uh, try to figure out what you're doing. Or what, oh, hey. Okay. I finally found one. So if you haven't, if you don't know, this here is uh, spray paint, of course, but uh, they added a new element. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the whole map situation. Like, uh, you can walk around and, and pick up the uh, the charcoal and whatnot. And then, s s when you do that, you know, you know where everything is. But this here makes you, uh, like, once you spray something, uh, it stays for now, I think, for a while. And then, uh, you know, it, you can mark where you have and have not been use this. I don't need that. Oh. Sweet. Found some rifle ammunition in the bank. That's kind of kind of interesting. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hopefully you guys have, uh, w when this goes up, um, I record a few episodes when I was last home. Um, I speak Wednesday because today's July 1st. Um, so uh, because I won't be here probably on July 4th, happy 4th of July. Hope you guys are having fun and safe with all them fireworks. Where I'm from, Oregon, uh, it's very dry in the uh, food. summertime, right? Uh, so everybody has to be a little bit uh, careful in the fact of uh, don't 
start fires because we're kind of like a tender in a matchbox. You know, it doesn't really help out much. I will get that later. I hate the saves. Sure oh, shut board. up. Um, but yeah, so hopefully when you guys watch this, uh, you have commented uh, in the comment section to tell me where that part of the map that I, sh that I uh, showed you guys, where that goes. If I think about it, I think it goes to uh, Fort Orn Muskeg, but I don't know how it would match in. I don't know how uh, where it would end up at. So it's probably like uh, Hushed River Valley or uh, the Broken Railroad or something like that. Which wouldn't be a terrible idea to go down there. But uh, right now we're kind of focusing on Milton Town. we got a ton of stuff left to discover. And uh, I think today if we were gonna build that bow. But I think on second thought uh, we might go up and check the church. I don't think this is bank. Is it bank? Yeah, I think it is. I don't know where we are. Anyway, so I think we'll go up to the church, see what the church has to offer, and uh, pretty much just explore like that. The bow, I mean, yeah, it's good to have, but unless you have arrows, you, you're kind of wasting your time, so... <laughs> And plus, we haven't been to uh, Pleasant Valley on this game, or on this run, so uh, we don't have any arrows. But it will come in handy. I mean, we still have ammunition, we still have everything else, so, I mean, uh, since we have that, we're not in a terribly huge rush. But it's definitely a good idea to start thinking about it, because it's going to be harder and harder to... Uh, to make ammunition, to find everything, you know, so it's, it's going to be a little bit uh, better, and it's stealthier. I don't really know. Oh, sweet. I don't really know why we'd have to go stealthy in this game. Most of the time you want to make ruck ruckus, racket. Okay, that was kind of weird. Uh, so that people, or uh, animals will run away from you. But you never know. I would check all those, but don't necessarily feel like there's anything good in it. I mean, there might be a snack, snack bar or something in there. But anyway, well, uh, we'll see what happens. Nothing in here. A lot of wood, though, which is good because uh, that will also make me remember, maybe. I mean, let's face it, we're probably not going to remember. But if you come in here, you know, you can tear all this shit down and... Ooh, heavy hammer. I could use this. Definitely will use that for the forge to make said arrows. But we're definitely going to have to go back up to the, the house, quote-unquote, to put that away, because that's like 10 pounds. And there we go. But yes, yeah, so after we drop off some stuff, we'll go that way and see if there's any birch maple birch saplings, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. We probably should cook up that, too, but we'll be okay, I think. Famous last word, we'll be okay and then die, right? I mean, that's that's pretty much how it goes right there. Search cabinet, bunch of stuff in here. Let's not actually put it in there. What's in here? Oh, sweet. So we'll just use this right quick. We will, oh, it's only four pounds. It's only four pounds! Um, we really, really don't need all of this. Let's, um, what about, what about that? We'll have 20, 29. <laughs> 29. Everybody decides to text me all at once. Um, yeah. So we're still overweight. But, I mean, uh, as soon as I throw this out, it'll be fine. Uh, we don't need that at the moment. We will keep those on just in case. Let's actually throw this out, too. The ammo there. Um, I'm going to keep that on me just in case for the, uh, the lantern. Don't need that necessarily at the moment. Don't need that. Um, man, 
There we go. That's how we get rid of stuff there. Pick something and, and throw it away. I think we'll be fine if we don't have that, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Throw that out. We don't need that until you have the um, uh, bow. Well, no, actually, that's a bad idea. Let's actually have two of those. Uh, anything else that we don't necessarily need at the moment? Um, don't need the whetstone. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, so let's get the hell out of here. Head up uh, past the church, and then we'll go from there. Drop, drop, drop. Boom. So that's like six pounds right there. But yeah, so uh, we had a trip up to... Um, where did we pick that load up at? When I left my house, we went down to uh, Modesto. And then from, uh, from Modesto, we picked up in... Uh, what the hell is that place? Sockton. Went up to Portland. Picked up in Portland, went down to Reno, and then from Reno came back. So, I mean, it's kind of a, you know, a lot of back and forth, you know, like a yo-yo. But, you know, that's what pays the bills. I mean, it's not the best source of income, especially. I mean, I'm fairly new. Uh, next month will be my one-year mark <laughs> of driving a semi one year. And, uh, man, it feels like it's been a long time long time just making sure there's no trees or nothing down there it, it, it only feels like a long time just because everybody says there's freedom in it and there is there, there is freedom you know you don't necessarily have the boss breathing down your neck but he's there but in this case she is there you know as long as you your do your job and you don't do anything stupid and crash you're fine but it's, uh, you know you don't uh, you don't have the time to stop and smell the coffee smell the roses you know you basically wake up drive go to bed and that's what you do so uh, you don't necessarily have a life I don't know kind of hard to explain. I know some of the, the viewers I have uh, will understand, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, it pays the bills, but, uh, you know, me and, the, me and the wife didn't have any other option at the time, but uh, I could go back to, uh, go back out on the road and make, you know, pay the bills off and everything else. What happened was, is that, uh, what started to have me make this channel was when I, uh, back in May of 2019, I had a kidney stone, and uh, because I had that kidney stone, they said, uh, well, if you can't drive the truck, leave. And so it was kind of a not necessarily mutual, but mutual agreement that I would leave. And, uh, and I figured as soon as I passed this stone then everything would be fine oh he's just gonna keep running but yeah so I figured once I had the, uh, the kidney stone and, and do everything like that then I'll be able to come back and that is the furthest thing from the truth that I've heard ah great uh, Let's uh, put antiseptic on the thingy. And then the bandage on the blood. So yeah, so uh, back in May of uh, 2019, I lost my job because of this kidney stone that apparently I chose to have. And uh, they, uh, like the doctor was like, oh yeah, well, you may have to have surgery, and I couldn't afford surgery. Are you kidding me? I couldn't, uh, you know, that was like a $6,000 right? 
um, job or a surgery right there. You know, they they take your um, they take this broad scope thing and they shove it up the the end of the rod and <laughs> and go get it. Well, I didn't want to do that. Plus, it couldn't afford it. It's like six thousand dollars or something like that. It's crazy. So what I did. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Looks like something, but it's very, very pixelated. So yeah, so I couldn't afford that, and I said, screw it, I'm just going to pass it regularly and pee it out. Well, eventually I did, a month and a half later. And so that's what I did. A month and a half of pain and agony. Only when it moved, you know, it didn't hurt until it moved. But once it moved, you knew it was moving. And, uh, you know, so, like, you could do every uh, everyday task, but the doctor didn't want me to, um, like, I had a load from Boise, and I was supposed to be going to Iowa, uh, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Well, if you know anything about the, the U.S. of A, Wyoming is between the two of those, and, uh, that was the route I was supposed to be taking, and there's nothing in Wyoming. Well, because I said that, the doctor said, you are not allowed to drive that truck until you pass it. I thought I was going to pass it sooner, but I didn't. So, long story short, I was let go slash fired slash quit. How long is this? 45 minutes? Okay. And, uh, yeah. So then, I went home, racked up a ton of debt. Because I was in Payette, Idaho, which is a long ways from where I live. About 500 miles. Uh, I better eat something before he loses it. Anyway, so it's about 500 miles from home. So I had to rent a car, throw all my stuff in it, as much as I could carry, and drive home. Then once I got home, I had to crawl into my pickup, go back to the truck, and get whatever was left. So yeah, it uh, was not cheap. You know, I racked up probably a good twenty-five to thirty-five hundred dollars on on my debit or my credit card, and uh, was slowly paying it off month to month. You know, like the minimum payment. And um, I couldn't find a job at home, and then Kimberly did, and then when she was. Uh, working, you know, she was barely paying everything off, and I said, well, I passed a stone, everything's fine now, uh, should we try to go back and drive over the road? And so we debated it, and, um, you know, oh, well, let's see if we can make it work here, and, and we'll go from there. Well, then finally, uh, you know, I, I was like, you know what, since I'm sitting at home, and I'm waiting for jobs to you know, call me back and everything else. I was like, let me start the YouTube and see what happens. So this is what I did. And uh, ever since then, this is what I've been doing. And uh, so then about in January, uh, we decided that, you know, she was making the money. She was. I mean, she was doing everything that she possibly could. Might as well get the other, other hide. Uh, but the only thing was is that she wasn't necessarily paying everything and, and was able to, uh, you know, still do stuff. Like, I mean, only I was working and she's just riding with me. Holy shiza. Scared me. Get off of me. <sighs> that gummit. Maybe this was a bad idea. Gotta stop that bleeding. Ah, uh, shut up. Uh, so yeah, so because of that, then we went back out on the road, and uh, so I've been trying to trying to do this and trying to do that, you know, and uh, it's it's been hard. But uh, hopefully, you guys can. Uh, I mean, hopefully, I've been doing all right. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we need to reload. Probably could have did this in a easier place. Oh, come on, there we go. And two more. But yeah, I mean, I really do thank you all for uh, sticking around. And everything else. I mean, it really does mean a lot. I'm not the best at this. I know that. What is this? 
Huh. Toilets over there. Well, yeah. I know I'm not the best at this. I know uh, that I'm not. But, uh, I mean, y'all watch. And, uh, you know, y'all give me some pointers of uh, how to make it better. Really do appreciate it. Man, look at that. We will walk in there as soon as we figure out what the hell this is. That's a person. Okay. Well, we'll check that later. But, yeah. I mean, uh... So it's been hard, but hopefully y'all understand of, of, you know, personal reasons of why uh, it's, it, it's been every every Wednesday, you know, uh, it's been, uh, it's about the only thing I can do uh, while keeping this going and being gone for so long. Oops, can't walk through there. But, uh, yeah, let's go in here and see what's in there and probably end the episode because I don't even know how long we've been going. Be a uh, hundred thousand percent honest with you. There's a workbench. Well, that's nice. Didn't know that was in here. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. Oh, another spray can. That spray can. Uh, is that it? A spray can and not a whole hell of a lot else. A flare. What is this? Cargo pants? 69%. I think ours is better, I think. Oh, Too nope, heavy. put those on. 41. Well, I mean, we might as well take these. There we go. Uh, 99. So everything else looks good. You know, a few things are... Uh, a little bit wonky and, and not good because of stupid wolves, but everything else looks good. But yeah, thank you all for listening to, you know, listening to me rant and uh, exploring a little bit. Hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, if you was lost, I mean, I didn't really cover anything, but you know, you never know. So yeah, I mean, if you guys did like this little episode here, please give it a big old thumbs up if you want to support the channel. And, uh, you know subscribe if you haven't already if you want to stick around and watch more episodes of mine and uh yeah thank you all for watching and i'll tell you see you in the next one take care